Hi, this is Mark, the ballpark hunter. We are back at Co-America Park. It's a Sunday afternoon. It's a lot cooler than the other day. And uh, the fans are packed once again to check out a little Tiger, Tiger Town baseball. And like I said, that is quite the entrance. So unlike our previous visit, where you saw the ballpark from the inside and out, we're going to try to take a look around the area here. Uh, that houses the football stadium, the hockey arena, basketball arena, and all that good stuff. But we'll take a look at this plaza again into the ballpark. Co-America Park is safe to walk around before the game. You'll have hundreds of people walking the streets, checking out the bars and restaurants, also posing for pictures in front of this massive tiger, one of the best entrances in baseball. So find a place to park, enjoy the crowd, make sure you wear some orange or navy blue. Kids like to stand in the pause and take pictures. And there's the giant baseball bats. Squeeze in, son. Co-America Park still has a box office where you can buy an old-fashioned paper ticket, and the ticket prices start as low as $15, but they do sell out quick on certain dates. As you can tell, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 different places on the lower level. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 places on the top level to get tickets. What is your cheapest ticket for the game? Uh, cheapest today is a Skyline uh, for $15, but I've only got six left. Okay, thank you. So one, two, three, fifteen dollars $15 is the cheapest ticket to get inside this ballpark. They only have six left. So it means that everybody's buying those cheap tickets and then walking around the stadium. You know that's what they're doing. Because that's what I would do. All right, well, we're not here to see the game today. We're here to just kind of check out what's happening outside of Co-America Park on game day. And there's a lot of music, a lot of people, and a lot of commerce taking place at this moment. Now they uh, put some gradients here so you can't really get a clear view, but I think the view is clear enough. And a little historical marker, what's, what's stood here. Not a bad little, not a bad view if you don't want to pay to get a ticket. Or is it? I don't know, you tell me. Now it may look like a clear view from behind me, but the closer you get, you get that uh, metal gradient there and you can't see anything. You can't see too good on there, so you can't see too well. Ugh, gotta use proper English. And then here you can't see anything, so you only have that little area, maybe a little area down here to uh, view the field from outside. Co-America Bank Park, or Co-America Park, Ford Field, home of the Lions. That's how close you are. So, nothing's going on at Ford Field today. But baseball is taking place here at Co-America Park. And it's the national anthem, so that's why everybody is stopped. Besides me and everybody else here. stars as well and then of course 1984 right there if it blows blow baby blow you beat the Padres
Tin Roof Detroit is a great option. You have this awesome view of the stadium, cheap drink specials, and live music. Can't go wrong with that. And we're on the rooftop. I fit half of that elsewhere. So we're on the rooftop here uh, at the uh, Tin Roof. Pretty cool place to visit, game day. And uh, there's Co America. You can, see, you can see some of the game, but not all. So you can hang up here, drink some cheap beer, <laughs> the roof of the Tigers, or you can buy a $15 ticket and, and buy expensive beer inside. They're not as expensive as other places. So it's a really nice spot to be. Kind of cramped here, and I can go for a PBR right about now. <laughs> Fox Theater, the iconic Fox Theater. I don't think the Fox Theater ever went away. It's always been here. And here's the building that it's housed in. And you can just see the entrance here. Very elegant, probably has not changed in its history. Here's the uh, old box office. I don't think it's used as the actual box office anymore. Detroit's finest entertainment. But probably looks the same way it did in the 20s, 30s, or 40s. I'm not quite sure the history of the place at the moment. I'll look that up later. Can we go inside? No. We can't. But yeah, right part of the district here. And you have the queue line. Takes people to and from different parts of Detroit. Hockey Town uh, doesn't seem to be open today, which is kind of odd. It feels like it could be a good day to be open. But oh well. And there's the Little Caesars Arena right over there. We're not gonna go there today because it's closed as well. I don't feel like walking there. All right, so you got the Fox Theater right behind me. You got all four of your professional sports teams in town. You also got the Hockey Town Cafe behind me, and there's Comerica Park. So this is a, a happening district during any sporting event, and it packs in people to downtown Detroit. I'm the Ballpark Hunter. If you like my videos, Please hit subscribe as I visit another ballpark.